is Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math grade for module two, lesson two homework. So let's get started. All right, number one, complete the conversion table. So one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, which means six kilograms equals 6,000 grams. Now, if there's 8,000 grams, then we just divide 5,000, which will give us eight kilograms. 15 kilograms times 1,000, that'd be 15,000 kilograms. 24,000 grams divided by 1,000 would be 24 kilograms. And 550 kilograms um, equals 550,000 grams. All right, number two, convert the measurements. So A, we have two kilograms, 700 grams. So we already have the grams, because we're converting the grams. But then, so we didn't know how many grams there are, but we don't know how many grams there are for the two kilograms. But we do know is that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So we multiply two by 1,000, which will give us 2,000, and then plus the 700 grams, so that'd be 2,700 grams. All right, B, we have five kilograms, so five times 1,000 is 5,000. But then plus the 945 grams, their answer is 5,945 grams, like in total. All right, C, 29 kilograms, 58 grams. 29 times 1,000 is 29,000, and plus the 58, so 29,058 grams. All right, and D, 31 times 1,000 is 31,000, and then plus the three grams. All right, and then E, it's given us the number of grams, but it wants us to find like how many kilograms and grams there are. Well, 66,000 divided by 1,000, let's move that, our decimal place to the um, left three times, one, two, three. So that gives us 66, so 66 kilograms and 597, grams and f 270 kilograms the same as 270 thousand um grams and then plus the 41. all right and now number three um sol so we have 370 grams plus 80 grams so since these two are the same unit they're both grams then we can just add them straight forward so 370 plus 80 0 plus 0 is 0, 7 plus 8 is 15, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So our answer is 450 grams. Alright, and then B, we have 5 kilograms minus 730 grams. Alright, so first things first, we should convert our 5 kilograms into grams. 5 kilograms into grams is five times a thousand which is five thousand so we have five thousand minus 730 grams zero minus zero is zero zero minus three let's borrow ten ten minus three is seven nine minus seven is two and four is just four so then our answer is four thousand two hundred seventy um grams all right, C, express the answer in the smaller unit. So our smaller unit for this problem would be grams. So 27 kilograms, 547 grams. 27 times 1,000 is 27,000, and then plus the 547. So that's what we have, and then plus 694, 694 grams. Seven plus four is 11. 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 1 is 14. 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 1 is 12. 7 plus 1 is 8, and 2 would just be 2. So our answer is 28,241 grams. All right, and D, we have um, 16 kilograms. So 16 times 1,000 is 16,000. And then plus 2,800 grams. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero is also zero. Zero plus eight is eight. 
6 plus 2 is 8, and 1, we just put it down. So our answer is 18,800 grams. Alright, and now E says express the answer in mixed units. So mixed units would be like that, like separated. Alright, well let's see, 4 kilograms, um, 229 grams, let's first convert it to grams. So 4 times 1,000 would be 4,000, and then plus 229, minus 355. 9 minus 5 is 4, 2 minus 5, borrow 10, 12 minus 5 is 7, 1 minus 3, let's borrow 10, 11 minus 3 is 8, and 3 is 3. So we got 3,874, but it says express the answer in mixed units. So what we can do is divide by a thousand. So our dot is here, our decimal point will be here, and we divide one, two, three. So then our decimal point will be here, we divide by a thousand. So we have three kilograms, 874 grams. So this would be our answer. All right, F, um, same thing. All right, 70 kilograms. 101 grams. So let's first convert that to grams. 70 times 1,000 is 70,000, and then plus 101, minus 17,862. 1 minus 2, borrow 10. That becomes 9. And then um, 11 minus 2 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. 0 minus 8, borrow 10. 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, 6 minus 1 is 5. So our answer is 552,239. And now if we're doing mixed units, divide by 1,000 would be 1, 2, 3. We have 52 kilograms and 239 grams. All right, next page. All right, use a tape diagram to model each problem. Solve using a simplifying strategy or an algorithm and write your answer as a statement. All right, so number four, one suitcase weighs 23 kilograms, 696 grams. Another suitcase weighs 25 kilograms, 528 grams. What is the total weight of the two suitcases? All right, so, one suitcase, suitcase number one, it weighs 23 kilograms. Now, first thing is first, we should convert it. So 23 kilograms, 696 grams, say 23 times 1,000 is 23,000, and then plus is 696. And then our other suitcase, so 25 kilograms, 528 grams. Same as 25,528. So let's see, suitcase number one weighs this much. Weighs 23,696 grams. And then suitcase number two weighs a little more. It weighs 25,528 grams. So how much do both of them weigh? So we're trying to figure out this, the total. So let's add them together. 1,696 plus 25,528. Six plus eight is 14. Nine plus two is 11 plus one is 12. Six plus five is 11 plus one is 12. Three plus five is eight plus one is nine. And two plus two is four. So your answer is 49,224. We can respond in a statement. The total weight of both suitcases is 49,224. All right, and number five. A bag of potatoes and a bag of onions combined weigh 11 kilograms, 15 grams. If the bag of tomato weighs 
7 kilograms, 300 grams. How much does the bag of onions weigh? Alright, so. P for potato. Let's come, let's actually compare our things first. So the total, so T for total, it's 11 kilograms, 15 grams, and that's the same as 11,000, um, 15. And then now, but the potatoes, P for potatoes, it weighs 7 kilograms, 300 grams. And 7 times 1,000 is 7,000 plus 300, 7,300. So let's draw a um, tape diagram. So P for potatoes. The potato weighs 7,300 kilograms. But then we don't know how much the onion weighs. So what we're trying to figure out is how much the onion weighs. But what we do know is that the total is 11,015. So what we can do is subtract the t um, potato from the total to find how many how much the onions weigh. I have eleven thousand fifteen minus seven thousand three hundred. Five minus zero is five. One minus zero is one. Zero minus three. Um, let's see. Borrow ten. Ten minus three is seven. Zero minus seven becomes ten minus seven, which is three. So our answer is 3,715, which means the bag of onions um, weigh 3,715 kilograms. The table to the right shows the weight of three dogs. What is the difference in weight between the heaviest and lightest dog? First things first, we need to convert this all to um, um, like grams or kilograms. So this one, these two are already in mixed conversions. So then for this one, we can just convert that into mixed conversion instead of co converting all these two to grams. So we have 21,268 grams divided by 1,000. That would give us 21.268. So this one has, Ufido has 21 kilograms, 268 grams. So then which dog is the heaviest and which dog is the lightest? Well, right away we can tell that Riley is the heaviest because she has 23 kilograms to begin with. And the others start with 21 kilograms. So Riley is the heaviest. So we can write her way down. 20, actually we can convert that to gram. That would be 23,128 grams. Minus, um, let's see. Fido would be the lightest because Fido has... 21 kilograms just like Lassie, but then she um actually Lassie would be the lightest they both have 21 kilograms but then 249 grams is less than 268 grams so Lassie would be the um lightest so the minus 21,249 8 minus 9 um let me borrow 10 18 minus 9 is 9. 1 minus 4 becomes 11 minus 4, which is 7. 0 minus 2, borrow 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So your answer is 1,879. So we could have actually drawn a tape diagram. To R for Riley, weighs 23,128 grams. And then L for Lassie, weighs 21... 249 grams and what was the difference well the difference was 1879 so we can write the difference um is 1879 grams so yeah all right
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!